And we are about ready for tip-off here at Bedford High School Gymnasium. We'll try to keep an eye on some of the other scores, including the uh, game between BG and Merrimack. And, uh, Merrimack. The Bulldog ladies in their uh, white jerseys, red numerals, black trim, Salem in blue and white. And we're ready for the tip-off between Carly Safe and Claire Driscoll. And the officials getting ready to put the ball up. And the tip goes to Bedford. Mia Roy. Working the perimeter now to Morgan. Shot from uh, two-point range. Rebound Bedford. And that's uh, Liz Stevenson coming up with the rebound, trying to get away from uh, the defender. She gets it down to Mia Roy. Inside to Dyer. The ball, the ball is uh, stripped away, and Salem takes it away now. Long pass, broken up by Bedford, and taken away. Here's Allie Morgan. Gets the shot down low to to Mia Roy. She's uh, knocked down, loses track of the ball, and Salem has the turnover. Ball still loose. Bedford takes away. Now Salem takes it back. Emily Doucette has it at the top of the, the uh, circle trying to uh, reset the offense for Salem. Dishes it off. Go ahead. Frantic first minute here. Bedford in their man-to-man -man defense. Three-point shot for Bedford. I mean, for Salem, and it's good. So the Blue Devils up 3-0. That's Jordan Franzen with the three-point shot. Alexa Dyer now with it for Bedford. Down low to Stevenson. She's being guarded by Franzen. Over to Morgan. Driscoll has it back to uh, Fillion. Back to Driscoll. Her shot is good. She was on the line. It's a two-point shot. Bedford uh, closes the gap 3-2. Emily Doucette going down to the corner, drops it off to Carly Safe. She dribbles around the perimeter, leaves it off for Jordan Franzen, drops it off to Kaylee Greenfield, being watched by Fillion. Now down low along the perimeter. That's number 11, Emily Doucette with the ball. She comes out to the almost to midcourt trying to reset the offense. Dishes it off, and it's uh, off. Uh, the knee of her teammate and right into the arms of Fillion. So Bedford with the takeaway. With 5.53 remaining, Salem up the lead 3-2. <coughs> Shot by Dyer is uh, missed, but the ball is off the hands of Carly Safe, so Bedford will retain possession. Now Dyer with the inbound. Trying to find somebody open, gets it down low. Layup by Mia Roy is good. Bedford up 4-3. Great cut by Roy there and finished with her left hand. Another takeaway by Bedford and a foul on Salem. I believe it'll be on number five, Kaylee Greenfield, on Mia Roy on that takeaway. Sorry, first foul of the game. Goes to senior uh, goes on senior captain Kaylee Greenfield. Bedford inbounds, Mia Roy in the backcourt, brings it over the timeline. Dishes it off to Liz Stevenson, who uh, waits to see for the uh, offense to develop. Now dribbling at the elbow, sends it over to Dyer, to Driscoll. Her pass inside for Mia Roy, and Roy is fouled before she can try the, the shot, so it's going to be not a non-shooting foul, I believe. That's Alexa, right. go ahead. Carly Safe got the foul on the floor there. So Alexa Dyer is uh, inbounding the ball. Looking for an opening, gets it to the corner to Driscoll. Driscoll dribbles in, gets it to Morgan. Over to Dyer, her shot rims out. Rebound Bedford, puts up, no good. Bedford with another rebound, Stevenson with the ball. She takes a three-pointer from the corner, that hits the rim. And rebound to Salem. Quick break out to number 11, Doucette, and the layup is good. So Salem back up 5-4 with 4.54 remaining. Now a quick shot there by number 15, Driscoll, and they're calling a jump ball because of the uh, block shot. And the ball will go to Salem. Great defensive play by Franzen of Salem there to, to draw the jump ball and a jump shot. You don't usually see that. Bedford with a little bit of pressure, and they're going to call travel on Salem. Kaylee Greenfield taking an extra step there in the backcourt. Looked like Bedford was trying to apply a little bit of pressure there. Yeah, trying to change the momentum here and so now try and settle down on offense and try and take the lead. So Fillion inbounds the ball to Stevenson. 
Gets it over to Roy, back to uh, Driscoll. Down to Philly, and Philly and to Roy underneath. She turns around, and they're going to say she took an extra step at the traveling call on Bedford. Bedford in a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court press here. Almost intercepted there, but it, it was intercepted that time by Roy as uh, Salem tried to get the ball down low. Here's Fillion into the corner to Dyer, her three-pointer too far off the rim, Salem with the rebound. Coming back the other way is Franzen over the timeline. Dishes it back to Doucette. Actually has Abu Jadi, whose layup was uh, blocked out of bounds so Salem will retain possession. Now Kaylee Greenfield inbounding the ball. Gets it all the way back down to Carly Safe. She gets it to Abu Jadi. Down low, layup, too hard. That was number 11, Doucette with the uh, layup attempt and she missed it. Rebound Bedford and they come back the other way. Stevenson leaves it out there for Dyer. And we get a call, it's gonna be a, a foul. Number 11, Doucette. That's her first, Harry, third foul on Salem. Just past the midway point of the first quarter. Salem is in the lead, 5-4 with 353 left to play. Inbounding the ball to Allison Morgan. Dishes it off to Fillion, who waits, then gets it into Mia Roy. She's fouled laying it up, and she'll go to the strike. Yep. Allie Morgan and Kendi Barner just checked into the game for Bedford. So Mia Roy now at the foul line for two. Lizzie Stevenson and Alexa Dyer getting their first breather. That ties it up, five apiece. And the second shot is on its way, and good, two for two. So Bedford up 6-5 at 3.46 left to play here in the first. Inbound pass to safe. Pressure by Bedford. Mia Roy trying to uh, close off the lane for Greenfield and winds up fou fouling Greenfield. A blocking foul. So Greenfield will inbound the ball. Drops into the backcourt to do set. She's being guarded by Morgan. You said still with the ball. Then dishes it off to Greenfield, but it's taken away by Bedford. Another turnover for the Bulldogs. Here comes Mia Roy the other way. She drives, drops it back to Fillion, but they're going to say she traveled. That was almost perfect for the guard play. Morgan deflected it. Roy picked up the steal, and Fillion had the open shot, just took the extra step. So Greenfield now inbounding the ball for Salem. She gets it to safe. Being closely watched by Driscoll, but she breaks the pressure, gets it into the Salem end. Doucette now over to Franzen up at the top of the perimeter. Safe now. She dribbles around, tries to dish it off, gets it off to Doucette, who drives the basket, then dishes it out to Franzen. His, her three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Bedford, but uh, Mia Roy stepped on the end line. It's going to stay with Salem. So the inbound to Carly Safe at the top of the key. Gets it over to Abu Jadi, being watched by Fillion. Now Doucette, she fires a three and it's good. 8-6, Salem in the lead. 2.45 remaining in the first. Kendra Bernard in the game now. She handles the ball, gets it to Roy. Down low. Roy dribbles around, tries to find a lane. Get the ball stripped, but they're going to say it's a foul on number 13, Franzen, for reaching in. Or is it? Or is that on Roy? Yeah, I thought that, I thought you had it, but they changed the call at the last minute. They called a push-off on Mia Roy, her second foul. So she might uh, be uh, sitting down soon with, uh, with yep, and she is. She's going to the bench now with uh, two fouls early on. Yeah, Stevenson and Dyer now check, check back in. Driscoll getting her first breather. So Salem now at the top of the key. Gale Kaylee Greenfield to Doucette. She has a little trouble getting the ball, has the ball stripped. Allie Morgan takes it away from her. Now here, here she comes the other way, and Doucette gets a foul reaching in. Allie Morgan making an impact right away, her second steal in just a couple minutes of action. So they'll inbound the ball on the sideline. 
Alexa Dyer will take it. And coming into the game for uh, Salem is uh, Alicia Bouchain. Replacing Doucette, who has five points, but two fouls. There's Ellie Morgan. Oh, she tried to lay it up, but then dishes it out to the last second to Kendra Bernard. But uh, Bernard was not prepared for it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turnover Bedford. Salem leading by two, eight to six. We've got 2.07 remaining here in the first. You're listening to quarterfinal Division I girls basketball here on Bedford 105.1 and watching it on BCTV Channel 23. Karina Schapler into the game for Bedford. Bedford going with the full court man-to-man -man press. In addition, side to Abijati, and she's fouled going up, and she'll be shooting too. They got Allie Morgan on that, her first. Third team foul for Bedford. That was a pretty good uh, uh, breaking of the press there by Salem. They got, they got the ball into their end quickly and then found Abujadi under the basket quickly, and that led to the foul. Her first shot, Abujadi is good. Salem up by nine, by a three now, nine to six. Now the second shot by Abujadi. A junior captain here on this Blue Devils team. The second one is good. Now Alexa Dyer inbounds it to Morgan. Now Salem is applying a little bit of backcourt pressure themselves. But Morgan's able to break that. Finds Kendra Bernard alone, then shoots it off to Lizzie Stevenson. Her three is good. 10-9, Salem up by one. And a reach-in foul there by, uh, by uh, Corinna Schapler on the Greenfield draw foul. Big three there by Stevenson. Cut the lead by one and see if Deb Bedford can get another stop here and try and gain the, gain the lead. Greenfield with the ball, watched by number 11, Schapler. Now she dishes it off to Beauchene. Over to Safe, back to Greenfield. Now the three by Abajadi is good. Big rainbow there, lots of air. Four point lead for the Blue Devils, 13 to nine. Now Liz Stevenson for Bedford. Gets it up to Kendra Bernard along the perimeter. Kendra's looking for a dish out. And there, there's an interception by Abujadi. Turnover Bedford. Salem with the ball. Abujadi gets it to Greenfield. She's being watched by Schapler. Inside now to Abujadi. Tries to get some room. Decides to bring it back outside to get some room. She's being uh, pressured, but does hand it off to Bo Shane. Bo Shane. Takes advantage of a screen by Abu Jadi. And the turnover there by Salem. I guess Boshane uh, dribbled that one out of, out, of, out of bounds. She did, and Morgan was right there with the pressure again, wreaking havoc. There's a long lead pass into Schapler. Schapler inside to Morgan. Her turnaround shot, no good. Dyer with the rebound, but it bounces over to Salem, and they head the other way. Here's Franzen driving the bucket, lays it up, gets it, and gets the, gets the foul for the end one. Yeah, really nice finish by Franzen there with, with the left hand. And the smaller Morgan didn't have much of a chance there to block the shot, and she picked up the foul in the process. So 59, Salem in the lead with a chance to add a point here. Jordan Franzen at the, at the line for the end one. Her shot is good. So the Blue Devils up by seven points with 21 seconds left in the first quarter, applying pressure in the back backcourt. Bedford breaks it. Kendra Bernard lays it up and puts it up too hard and misses. And now Bernard gets a reach-in foul on Franzen, trying to take the ball away from her. Quickly, Bedford now has six fouls in the first half. One more, and Salem will be shooting free throws for the rest of the half. So inbounds is broken up by Morgan. The ball will stay with Salem with 9.9 .9 seconds left. Greenfield on the inbounds again, trying to find the open uh, receiver, but turns it over for Bedford. Here comes the layup, and they're gonna get a foul. That was number uh, 20, Liz Stevenson, with the uh, interception on the inbound. Drove the basket and drew the foul. She'll be shooting too, with a chance to close this lead a little bit. 69 Blue Devils ahead here in the first quarter with 5.5 seconds remaining. Now Stevenson will try her first uh, foul shot. Up and good. 
16-10 now. See if we can close it to five points before the end of the quarter. Shot is up and good, perfect. Nothing but net. Inbounds there, up to uh, Greenfield. She tries to race all the way and get a shot off. Too hard off the backboard and she misses the shot. But Salem has a great uh, first quarter here. Surprising the uh, Bulldogs on their home court with a five point lead, 16 to 11. Yeah, really a dream start for Salem. I mean, you couldn't have drawn it up any better. They've got three players with who've done all the scoring. Doucette has five, Franzen has six. She had the three pointer and then that three point play. And then Abujadi has five. They've made three three pointers as a team. Bedford has 16 fouls, they only have five. And two of the key ball handlers for Bedford, Roy and Morgan, they both have two fouls already. So this is a you know wake-up call. Uh, Salem, they came to play tonight. Riding high after their, their first round playoff win. Not to mention the uh, win streak coming in on the regular season. That's right. So I think Coach Thomas is going to have to rely on some of her bench players. I do think that uh, Allie Morgan uh, stepped up quite well filling in for uh, Mia Roy. She really did, you know, she, she made the difference on defense and that's what Bedford's gonna have to rely on right now is, you know, whether it's, they always, they, they often use the full court pressure to get turnovers, to get easy baskets. It didn't really work in the first quarter, but we'll see if they can start to make some plays on defense here in the second quarter. Possession arrows in favor of Bedford, so they'll get the ball out here to start the second quarter with Liz Stevenson ready to inbound the ball. Mia Roy back on the court with her two fouls. Let's we'll see if she can get through this second quarter without another one. Allie Fillion's shot is an air ball, but Bedford recovers. Over to Stevenson. Dribbling now. Gets it over to Dyer. Back to Stevenson at the top of the arc. Back to Dyer, tries to get it inside, but uh, number 15, Claire Driscoll, wasn't expecting that. It's intercepted by Salem. Another turnover for, for the Bulldogs. Abu Jadi now with the ball being watched by Stevenson. It looks like, uh, what are we calling here? The foul? Yeah, they got, they got Stevenson on the reach. You got the arm of Abu Jadi there, just being a little bit too aggressive going for that steal. Well, Abu Jadi had given up her, her dribble, so she had to do something. So I guess he was, she, you know, that was the opportunity to get aggressive there. Another uh, timeout here, I believe it's uh, on Bedford. Bedford timeout, 30-second timeout. When we come back, Abu Jadi's going to be at the line for one and one. She's already made her two free throws tonight. In fact, both teams are perfect at the line. Salem three for three, Bedford four for four. That can often be the difference in a, in a playoff game. Really high scoring also so far, 16 to 11. Um, we've seen a lot of single digit first quarters involving Bedford. They seem to sometimes- And the occasional shutout. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they need to get, get going. Sometimes the first quarter is just a feeling out process. So we'll see if they can crank it up here in the second quarter. Well, we're certainly not gonna count the Bulldogs out. They've come back from deficits before. They usually uh, turn it on later in the game, but right now, the Blue Devils are in the driver's seat. There's the one and one from Abu Jadi. Her shot is uh, missed. First missed free throw for either team tonight. Bedford with the rebound. Dyer gets it over to Fillion. Little hip check there by Sydney Emerson. And she draws the foul, and that puts Bedford into the bonus. Sydney so Emerson, a freshman. Salem has a lot of younger players. Gaining great experience tonight. So Fillion now at the, at the charity stripe. Puts it up and good. 16-12 now, Salem in the lead. 7-16 remaining in the second. Now for a second one. Up, and that's good as well. Bedford perfect from the foul line, 16-13. They cut the lead down to three. Emily Doucette up to Franzen. 
at the top of the key. Franzen stops, gets it to Abujadi. Abujadi drives down low, dishes it out, but that's intercepted by Mia Roy. Bedford the other way. Great help defense by Roy to come over and get that steal. Stevenson dribbling now over to the Roy. Back to Stevenson. Trying to direct the traffic here. Gets it to Fillion. Fillion tried to put on the jump fake, but the official sees it as a travel. And that's a turnover. Another uh, substitution here. Beauchene comes out for Salem. And who comes in? Is that uh, Doucette? Did you catch who came in? I didn't see the substitution. But Greenfield's back on the court. Senior captain number five. And she's got the ball right now being watched by Stevenson. Still dribbling with it. Stevenson right on her. Dishes it off to Sydney Emerson, who gets it inside to Abujadi. She lays it up, misses, but draws the foul. And she'll go to the line. I thought Abujadi got away with a walk right there. And that's what, that's what gave her the edge to get past Driscoll to force that foul. So 16-14 remaining in the half. Salem in the lead, 16-13, with Abujadi for the Blue Devils on the line to shoot two. And the officials are discussing something here. Do you happen to have any idea what the, what the discussion's about? I haven't been able to decipher it yet. But they're looking at the scoreboard as they talk. And it looks like we're ready to resume. The ball given to Christine Abujadi as she prepares her first uh, free throw. Up and it's good. 17-13, Blue Devils in the lead. They just increased Bedford's team fouls from seven to eight. That may have been one thing they were looking at. They've also made sure to indicate that that foul was on Driscoll on the scoreboard. Abujadi's second shot is good as well. So Salem back up by five, 18 to 13. Inbound to Mia Roy. She gets the ball knocked away temporarily and then throws it away. Fast break now for Franzen, lays it up and in. Back to a seven point lead for the Blue Devils, 20 to 13. And the Salem contingent is happy, you can hear them across the way. Yeah, they're really into it, as well they should be with this seven point lead on the road against number one Bedford. Coach Thomas taking a quick time out there after that miscue, handing Franz in that breakaway layup. She now has eight points, Abujadi seven, Doucette five. Uh, it's tough when you've got three effective offensive players who are hurting you in multiple ways. You know, three different players have hit a three pointer. Uh, as we mentioned, they're converting at the free throw line. So Bedford has their hands full tonight. Yeah, especially when their own uh, uh, key players aren't uh, connecting. Uh, like I said, Roy had missed some playing time with her fouls. She has two fouls on her, so she missed a good chunk of the first uh, quarter. Uh, on that last play, she uh, nearly had her pocket picked, was able to recover, but then uh, tried to dish it off to her teammate and instead gave it right back to the Salem player, resulting in that fast break. That's right, she just overthrew her teammate in the middle of the court and then Franzen had no, no resistance on that breakaway layup. So I'm sure uh, Coach Thomas is telling her girls to get their heads into the game and uh, make sure they know where they're putting the ball, try to cut these uh, unforced errors down a bit. Absolutely, they've got to take care of the ball and just start getting good shots. So Stevenson inbounds the ball to Allie Fillion. She brings it over the timeline. No pressure this time from the Blue Devils. Ball to Stevenson. Dribbles along the perimeter. Being watched by Emerson. There's a layup by Dyer. That's good for Bedford. 20 to 15. Blue Devils in the lead. Now Greenfield with it. Dishes it off to Franzen. Her running jumper is, uh, misses everything, but it's a rebound by Emerson. Puts the ball up. And that's a miss. Bedford recovers, and Stevenson brings the ball up the court. Stevenson driving. Dishes it off to Roy. Roy down the middle. Dishes it off. What we have here, a foul. There'll be a foul on Salem. So number five, Greenfield getting the call there on a reach-in, I believe. A yeah, nice hard penetration by Roy there, going to her left. She was ready to dish, 
But she got fouled on the pass, so she'll have one and one. 20 to 15, Salem in the lead, 523 remaining. Both teams are in the bonus. Mia Roy ready for her first foul shot. This is the one and one. Up and good. 20 to 16 now. Bedford seven for seven at the line tonight as a team, and that's keeping them in this game right now. And here's the eighth shot, and that one's good as well. 20 to 17, back to a three-point lead or deficit for Bedford. Three-point lead for the Blue Devils. Greenfield inbounds it to Emily Doucette. Crosses the timeline, being watched by Ali Morgan. Still dribbling, there's a screen by Abujadi. Dishes it off to Carly Safe. She decides to dribble. Stops, and they're going to call her for uh, travel. That ball, that uh, foot dragged behind her just a little bit. You really can't get away with much uh, in the way of foot movement with these officials. They're calling it close. Very close. Now Allie Morgan brings it over the timeline. Dishes it inside to uh, Driscoll. Her layup is no good and recovered by Salem. Coming back the other way. That's Franzen. Sends it over to Doucette. She drives, then dishes it out to Abijati in the corner for three, and good! 23-17, Salem. It gives Abijati 10 for the night, first player in double figures. Morgan dishes it off to Philly, and her shot bounces off the rim. Rebound by Salem, and a foul going on number 15, Driscoll, for Bedford, and that's going to go to the line for a one-and-one. That's second foul on Claire Driscoll. Showing a little frustration. She's probably upset that last possession she had made that that bucket that she makes probably nine times out of ten. And now she's got to take a seat with two fouls. And then Kendra Bernard comes in and takes her place. For the Bulldogs. So Carly safe now at the line of one and one. As she prepares for her shot. Puts it up, and no good. Back rims it. Kendra Bernard. Looked like it went off of her, but they're going to say it went off of uh, Jordan Franzen, so it's going to be Bedford ball. With Stevenson inbounding to Morgan. Morgan being watched by Greenfield. She crosses the line, still dribbling. Gets it over to Fillion. Fillion dishes it inside to Stevenson. Her running jumper is good. 23-19. Salem in the lead. Abujadi now on the perimeter. Get the inside dish to safe. She couldn't handle it. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow to the Blue Devils, so they'll retain possession there. That would have been a great play if safe had been able to control that inside pass from Abujadi. Yeah, she was open there for a second, but then once she bobbled it, Stevenson jumped in to force the jump off. Now safe trying a three, and it hits the rim. No good. Rebound by Bedford, coming the other way. Stevenson dishes it off to Philly, and her three rims out. Rebound by Salem. Greenfield into the uh, Salem end. Abu Jadi now slowing the play down a little bit. Safe signals to the pass of the ball. She gets it. Dribbles inside, tries to run to the basket, and she's fouled on the way up. So she'll be shooting too. I think they're going to get Philly in on that one. Yeah, that's her first, but 10 team fouls now, so Salem will shoot two free throws for the rest of the half. Yeah, double bonus. So safe at the line. She missed her first attempt. Gets another chance here, but we're going to have a timeout. 3.32 remaining in the second quarter. Salem in the lead, 23-19. You're listening to Division I Girls Basketball Quarterfinal Action. Bedford and Salem on Bedford 105.1, and you're watching it on BCTV 23. Well, Harry, I like what Bedford has done in the last few minutes after Coach Thomas called that timeout. Uh, they're playing a little bit more under control. They've had a couple really good offensive possessions where they're setting solid picks and getting good open shots and converting. But, you know, Salem continues to be a handful. I mean, Abu Jadi has 10 now after that corner three-pointer, her second of the night. And... You know, the lead is still at four with, with two free throws coming here. We've got a uh, first quarter score from Merrimack. It is uh, Merrimack nine, Bishop Girton eight after one quarter. 
So tight action across the state here in the quarterfinal round of Division I girls playoff action. So at the final line is Carly Safe. Try to add to the Salem lead. They've got a four point advantage right now, 23-19. Safe shot is up and hits the back rim and bounces out. So she's 0 for 2 from the line. But she gets another chance. Dribbles the ball, prepares to shoot. It's up, and this one's good. So 24-19 now. Blue Devils ahead, inbound Bedford. Allie Morgan now being double teamed. Throws a lead pass that misses everybody. Turnover Bedford. Very uncharacteristic un, uh, of this Bulldogs team. They look a little discombobulated out there today. That was. And Salem coming out of that timeout where Coach Oliver set up that full court press and it resulted in a turnover. So now Salem with the ball. That's Carly Safe dishing it off to, to Greenfield. Refield takes advantage of a screen, drops it off now to Franz, and she drives, lays it up, bounces out, and rebound by number 20, Stevenson. She brings it up, dishes it off to Fillion, who gets fouled. I believe uh, Abujati reached in and got the foul there. Okay, it's going to be her first on the night. So this will be a one and one uh, attempt for uh, Bedford with uh, Fillion at the foul line. Trailing by five, 24-19 with 2.57 left to play in the half. The Fillion sets. First shot on the way is good. Still perfect from the foul line, I believe, correct? That's right. Nine for nine now. Let's see if you can make it an even ten. Second shot by Fillion up and good. This, this foul shooting may be the thing that uh, saves the game for them. Absolutely. Keeping them close. Absolutely. So it's a three-point deficit now for the Bulldogs. 24-21. Salem is in the lead. Doucette crosses over the line. She tries to drive, then pulls back. Leaves it for safe. Safe dribbles. Runs into Stevenson. And what are we going to call here? A blocking foul on uh, Stevenson? Yep. That's her second. You know, I watch a lot of basketball, and, and even after years of watching it, sometimes I can't tell who's at fault when two players collide. How do the officials decide who's the, who's the uh, guilty party? That's right, and that was an awkward connection there because the offensive player was going back towards half court, and Stevenson was sort of in a guarding position, like you might take a charge, but out by half court. And so, you know, usually in that setting, they do give the, the edge to the offensive player. And, you know, Stevenson had just enough of a reach in there to earn the foul, I thought. Carly Safe uh, misses her first free throw. Here's her second one. It's up and no good. Rebound picked up by Salem. Abujati has it, tries to go back up. Underhanded layup, rebound by Safe. She puts it up, it misses again. Rebound Bedford. They're breaking down the other way. Here comes Mia Roy. Dishes it out to Stevenson. And it's good, and there's a foul after. Terrific fast break there by Bedford. And quick thinking on the part of Mia Roy to find Stevenson breaking under the basket. Yeah, it really was. Great pass. You know, huge momentum play. Here's an opportunity now for the Bulldogs to tie the game after being down by as much as seven points. Up, and it's it. That ball thought about it for a while, but decides to go into the bucket. And we're tied up. 24-24 with 2.31 left. Terrific action here for the first uh, the quarter round, quarter round, quarter final round playoff. There's a rebound attempt or a layup attempt that's no good. Bedford coming the other way. Underhanded layup, no good by Morgan, and a foul on the rebound there on Bedford. Yeah, Morgan actually stole that ball, went end to end, went for the acrobatic scoop, but was unable to convert. And then uh, that was Barnard with her second foul, sending Salem back to the line. And Jordan Franzen is at the line. Her shot is good. Salem back up by one, 25-24, 218 to play. Alexa Dyer's out of the game, and uh, Driscoll, Claire Driscoll is back in for Bedford. Now Franzen will attempt her second free throw. 
Up. No good. Rebound by Driscoll. Dishes it off to Allie Morgan. Brings it into the Bedford end. Her three-point shot is an air ball, but Salem picks up the rebound. Emily Doucette brings it back. Leaves it for Greenfield. Greenfield along the perimeter. Now to Franzen. Franzen still dribbling. Gets it back to Greenfield. Tries to find an opening. She drives. Her shot is blocked, but they're going to call that a foul. I don't know. It looked like there was mostly ball on that one. There was a lot of ball up top. Maybe she got her with the body just a little bit. You know, tough to tell from our angle. But that was a clean block up top. So Greenfield to the line now with the Salem Blue Devils up by one, 25-24. 151 remaining here in the half. Her free throw. Bounces around but goes in. Now Alexa Dyer's back in the game. Barnard sits with those three fouls. Greenfield with her second one. No good. And Claire Driscoll with the rebound. Gets it over to Morgan. 26-24, Salem in the lead. Dishes it over to Stevenson. Being guarded back up to Claire Driscoll. Over to Mia Roy. Mia Roy thinks about dishing it inside, but the holds back. Now Roy's dribbling, gets it over to Driscoll. Driscoll over to Morgan. Being guarded by Greenfield. Gets it over to Driscoll. Little contact there underneath, no call. Now she dishes it out to Driscoll. Her shot rims out. Salem with the rebound. That's Franzen. Carrying it over for the Blue Devils. Still driving to the basket. She puts up a runner. That's no good. Mia Roy with the rebound. Roy gets it over now to Morgan, being watched closely. Now to Stevenson at the uh, far corner. Dribbles it out to the top of the key. Stevenson still dribbling, gets it to Morgan. Morgan thinks about getting it inside to Driscoll. Still with the ball. And what do we have here, a five second call? Waited too long to get that ball off. Another turnover for Bedford. Great individual defense there by Salem to force that. They certainly aren't giving the Bulldogs much room to operate. Now Emily Doucette with it. Down to Sydney Emerson. Inside the Carly safe. In the slot, but they're going to say that she walked with it. Turnover Salem. 29.2 seconds remaining. Bedford with the ball. I assume they're going to hold for the last shot and try to tie or take the lead. Mia Roy dribbles in, gets it to Fillion. Fillion inside to Stevenson, she dribbles out. Back to Fillion, 13 seconds remaining. Fillion still with the ball. Gets it over to Stevenson. Steven now goes down the middle, lays it up, and good. Five seconds left. Two, one, long heave. No good. And that's how we wrap things up after the half. After the uh, Bulldogs trailed by as much as seven, I believe that was, seven was the biggest deficit, right? That's right. Uh, they come back and tie the game. And we uh, go into halftime tied at 26. And we are back at Bedford High School Gymnasium here in Bedford. Tie score after uh, two periods, 26-26 all between Salem and Bedford. Yeah, Harry. Uh Bedford just coming out of the locker room right now with 15 seconds left in the halftime break, so they did have a lot to chat about. Statistically, what was interesting to me is that Salem made four three-pointers, Bedford, Bedford only made one, but Salem missed seven free throws. Otherwise, they'd have a healthy lead. Bedford, on the other hand, went 11 for 11 from the free throw line, and that's what has allowed them to be tied at half. So the Bulldogs again with the possession arrow, so they'll get the ball out here to start the third quarter. Tied at 26, a brand new game. Winner advances to the semifinals at SNHU Fieldhouse on Thursday night. So Mia Roy now, watched by Greenfield. Dishes it off to Fillion. Inside to Claire Driscoll. She puts it up and good. Bedford now with a lead. I believe it's the first one of the game. 
And a great start there to get Driscoll her second basket of the game. There's a three-point attempt by Salem. No good. Rebound to Salem. Greenfield picks it up, and now they reset. Franzen dishes it out to Abujadi at the top of the key. Abujadi trying to decide what to do with it. Being covered by Stevenson, dishes it back out to Franzen. Now Franzen still dribbling with it, trying to drive, dishes it back out to Greenfield. Tries to get inside and does. Puts the ball up, but it's partially blocked. Abujadi with the rebound, turns around. Rebound no good. Driscoll with the rebound for Bedford. She dishes it out to Stevenson. We got a foul call here. Is it going to go against Salem, against uh, 13? Yes. Uh, that's against Franzen. A little bit after the play. That's right. It's going to be Franzen's first. First foul of the second half. So Bedford will take the ball out. Stevenson on the inbound to Alexa Dyer up to Mia Roy as they cross the line. Roy watched by Greenfield. Still dribbling with it. Gets it over to Stevenson. Stevenson waits. Carly Safe is on her. Now Mia Roy has it again on top of the key. Back to Stevenson. Down low to Dyer. Dyer with the three. Short. Rebound by Abujadi. Salem coming back the other way. Here's Franzen. Decides to pull up. Abujadi with the screen for Franzen. Still dribbling with the ball. Leaves it for Safe. Safe over to Greenfield at the top of the key. Watched by Stevenson. Greenfield now over to Doucette. Back up to Abujadi, working the perimeter. Abujadi still holding the ball, now dribbles. Gets it to Greenfield. Salem still working the perimeter, trying to find an inside track. There's a long shot by Franzen. Three-pointer, no good. And Roy with the rebound. Long lead pass to Stevenson. Up and good. Bedford up by four, 30 to 26. Stevenson now with 14 after that basket. Now Salem with a Doucette. Tries to get it inside to Abujadi, but it's called for travel. Turnover by the Blue Devils. Coach Oliver taking a timeout here for Salem. Just over two minutes into the third quarter, and it's 4 nothing so far. Bedford on the scoreboard in the second half, so he wants to regroup. Absolutely. But again, uh, whatever Coach Thomas said in the, in the locker room at halftime seems to be paying off here with uh, a couple of good offensive possessions and some good uh, defense, too. Yeah, they look a little bit more composed to me. Um, that was a great look ahead by Roy to get Stevenson there on the break. Absolutely recognizing she was wide open. You know, I've noticed that Salem, I, I'm just really impressed as, an, as a nine seed. You know, you got to tip your cat to cut to tip your cap to Coach Oliver to have this team playing like they do. But they don't have a weak link out there in that starting five. All five players can dribble and pass. We've mentioned that three different players have already made a three-pointer. Um, except so the free just, throws that are a little bit uh, Except for the free right throws. Now. I mean, but on the floor, the floor game, this is not a, a typical nine seed. No, we're getting some great action here today. The uh, Bulldogs being tested by the Blue Devils. But uh, so far in the second half, the Bulldogs have responded. So Stevenson's getting ready to put the ball inbounds over to Mia Roy, watched by Greenfield. She dribbles over the timeline. Greenfield applies some pressure. Over to Stevenson now. Stevenson to Fillion, takes a shot from the free throw line. That bounces sideways. Rebound by Claire Driscoll. She gets fouled down the putback. Misses the shot, but she'll get the shoot too. It looks like they've called Abu Jadi with that. I thought it was going to be on safe, but Abu Jadi gets her second. Really athletic play by Driscoll to get around the defender and sneak in and get that offensive rebound. Her first free throw is good. Nothing but net. Bedford now on a 5-0 run, 31-26. And the officials are talking something over now, talking to Coach Oliver about something. He seems to be a little bit upset. Maybe he was deciding the call on uh, Abu Jadi. Maybe he felt it was somebody else. And Driscoll's second shot bounces away. I believe that's the first missed free throw for the Bulldogs today. That's correct. So Doucette went end to end, and the ball goes out of bounds. I believe it's going to be uh, Salem ball. Abu Jadi checking out now with four fouls. I, I had her down for three, so 
Uh, that's why Coach Oliver was upset because I, I didn't think that fourth foul should have been called on Abujadi. That's a big blow to Salem. Yes, indeed. And she is a key player for the Blue Devils. So Sydney Emerson with the ball now trying to find an opening. Dribbles her way into, into Stevenson, but it looks like Stevenson's going to get the call. Seems a little unfair. Again, it's one of those it's six and one half dozen the other. You bump in, two players bump into each other. Who's the guilty party? The officials say with Stevenson, so the foul on Bedford. Inbound pass to safe, and it looks like a foul on the inbound to number 21, Alexa Dyer. That's to her make first. Contact. That last foul on Stevenson was her third. So another inbound here for Salem. Number 12, Sydney Emerson. Looking to get it out. Gets it all the way out to safe at the top of the, uh, almost to the half court line. Now Greenfield, watched by Morgan. Drives, shot blocked, but they're gonna call foul on Dyer. Is that on Dyer? Could have gone, on. well they gave it to Morgan down low on the hip. Okay. It, 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 I, I was watching Dyer, and it didn't look. It looked like she made a clean block. Right. Yeah, that hip check on Morgan is her third. So foul starting to mount on both sides. So Greenfield goes to the line, tries to break the uh, goose egg for Salem. Doesn't do it there. Ball rims out. Misses her first. Now in the game for Bedford, Sadie McIver is in for Stevenson. Morgan and Stevenson are both on the bench now with three fouls for Bedford. So here's Greenfield's second attempt. And that one's good. First point for Salem this half. 31-27, four-point lead for the Bulldogs. 4.58 left in the uh, third quarter. Here's the dish inside to McIver. She gets it over to Driscoll. Her layup is no good. And Salem with the rebound. And Lee Doucette. Stops at the three-point line, lets one go, and it's good. And just like that, they cut the deficit down to just one point, 31-30. Bedford, Alexa Dyer, over to Mia Roy. Mia Roy, dribbling, stops, gets it over to McIver. McIver slows it down, she's being watched by Greenfield. Over to Fillion. Fillion stops, gets it inside to Roy. She gets hung up, but they're gonna call that a travel. I, th I thought there was contact there that made her take that step. Could have been contact. It also looked like she didn't really have possession yet. She kind of bobbling it as she was getting that, drawing that contact. And it looks like the officials are going to talk that one over. Coach Oliver's little... Uh, a little miffed. A little uh, agitated there, whatever the officials were deciding there. But it looks like the call's going to remain on... Uh, on the travel. On the travel. So Salem inbounds it. Emily Doucette being guarded by Mia Roy. Gets it down low to Emerson. Her three-point attempt hits the side of the board. Bounces out. Roy with the rebound. Here comes Bedford the other way. Up to Fillion. Fillion back up to Roy. Top of the key. Inside to Driscoll. And contact for sure there. And they called it. She's going to go to the line. Are they going to call it a shooting foul? Yes, they will. That time they got safe with the body. And that's her third. We've got a, actually we have quite a few fouls in this game on both sides, don't we? We really do. So we'll probably be in uh, the bonus fairly soon. First shot there by Driscoll is good. 32-30 Bedford with 356 remaining in the third quarter. Her second shot is out. But rebound by Dyer. Gets it over to Roy. Second chance opportunity here for the Bulldogs. Top of the key, Fillion tries to drive to the basket, puts it up, and good! Impressive that she was able to make that awkward shot with her right hand. I thought she should have gone with her left, but she was able to make it. 34-30, Bedford. Sydney Emerson. Up to Franzen, a runner, and a foul on Claire Driscoll. It's gonna be her third. And will this be a shooting foul? No, they'll be taking it out of bounds. Greenfield with the inbound. That's a minor gift to Bedford. That could have gone as a shooting foul. Safe has it on the inbound. Gives it back to Greenfield, who wheels around. Dishes it out to Doucette for three. 
Bounces, no good. And Dyer with the rebound. She corrals it, gets it to Roy. Roy bringing it up with Salem players all around her. She dishes it out to McIver. Her three-point attempt is short and safe with the rebound for Salem. Now Doucette back over. Franzen dribbling at the top of the key. Gets it to Greenfield. Greenfield finds a lane, tries to get in, dishes it out to Emerson. Her shot is good. Is that a three? No, a two-point shot. 34-32. Bedford up by two points, 2.45 here in the third quarter. Mia Roy to Fillion. Fillion tries to get it inside to Driscoll. She's fouled by Carly Safe. And what's going to be the call here? Is this going to be, they're going to call that a shoot? No, it's going to be uh, out of bounds. I didn't think it was a shooting attempt. Right, and that's four fouls on Safe, who's played heavy minutes tonight. Staying in the game. Coach Oliver has a decision to make. So Bedford taking the ball out. Schapler is in the game, gets it over to Fillion, back to Schapler. Now to McIver. Amanda, Amanda Jonas is in the game for Bedford now as well. Miroy down low, gets it to, to Jonas. Her shot misses, and there's a foul on Bedford. On the rebound. That's going to go to number three. That's Miroy. That's her third. So everybody getting into foul trouble here. With 2.24 left in the third quarter, Salem on the inbound. With Emily Doucette carrying the ball in. And she drives to the basket. Layup, no good, too hard. Jonas with the rebound. Mia Roy takes it for Bedford, going the other way, behind the back dribble. She drives, gets it over to McIver. McIver to Fillion, three-point attempt, too hard. Rebound there by Franzen for Salem. Brings it back over. Now Franzen looking for an opening. She takes a three and it's no good. Rims out. Ball goes off of a Bedford player and they're gonna keep it on Salem's side. There was a rebound attempt by number 12, Emerson. The ball came loose and it hit uh, one of the Bedford players on the foot, rolled out of bounds. So that's how that came about. 34-32, Bedford up by two with 1.49 remaining in the third quarter. Little programming note, uh, right around now, eight o'clock is normally when you'd hear songs from the edge of the world here on Bedford 105.1. And if you're a fan of the show, please bear with us. We will start the show right after the game, which should be another 30 minutes or so. So stay with us, songs from the end of the world, edge of the world will be uh, here on Bedford 105.1 right after this basketball game. A tight game indeed, that's worth listening to because Bedford's clinging to a two-point lead. Salem's top scorer, Abu Jadi, just checked back into the game for the first time with her four fouls. We'll see if Coach Oliver goes offense, defense here and gets her back out, but let's see if they draw up the play and try and get her the ball here while she's in. Now Greenfield gets the ball inside the Franzen, and the turnover right there, stolen ball by Mia Roy. Gets it over to McIver, who tries to dribble it out. And what happened? What? Is, they're going to call McIver for a forearm? Wow. Yep. What the Salem did. player was really closing in on her. She was just trying to maintain her space. She was. I think the problem was she just extended it just enough, and the re it was right in front of the referee. So he made the call, and that's 16 fouls now on Bedford. So at least Salem's not going to go to the line, but the next foul they will. Ball inbounded to Doucette. Tries to find a lane, she drives, puts it up. Blocked by Jonas, rebound Bedford. Here's Stevenson, she's driving now. Finds a lane, puts it up, and no good. But she's gonna get a foul and shoot too. You can see that one developing, Carrie, because after Franzen missed a shot, she, she got caught behind there, and Bedford had the five on four, and Stevenson saw it. She took it all the way to the hole and drew that foul. So we'll see if Stevenson can add to Bedford's two-point lead here with 1.25 left to play. Her first shot is up and out. An unfortunate bounce there. Is that only the third missed foul shot That's the, correct. Uh, for the Bulldogs tonight? That's right. Second shot attempt by Stevenson is up and that one rims in and good. So up by three now, 35-32 with a minute 23. Salem brings it in, that's Greenfield. Oh, she runs into uh, 
What do we have here? There's going to be a blocking foul. You got me. A charge? Looks like an offensive foul on Salem. It's going to go on Greenfield, I believe. I think what happened there is it looked like Stevenson just tripped over the offensive player, but they went ahead and called the charge. So Bedford ball. Roy brings it over. Fillion has it. Looking for somebody to dish it to Dyer for three from the corner. Head hits the sideboard, but it's rebounded by Fillion. Puts it back up and good. 37-32, Bedford up by five with 59 seconds to play in this third quarter. Here comes Sydney Emerson. She drives and draws the foul. And Mia Roy pays the price. Lands on her backside. But I believe she gets the, foul, the call. And uh, is she going to the bench now? Or no, she just... Uh... You know, I thought they were going to call Roy with that. Because she was, she took the blow there, but they gave the foul to Philly in her second. There's the first foul shot by Sydney Emerson. No good, but the rebound goes off of Bedford, off of Dyer. So Salem will retain the possession. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. 37-32, Bedford in the lead. Doucette's going to have the ball to inbound. Looking for an opportunity, and it's stolen by Roy. Roy comes the other way on a break, heading for the basket. She dishes it off. The shot by Philly and no good. Rebound by Roy. Puts it up and good. And she steals it again. One man wrecking crew. Mia Roy. She gets uh, doubled up. Oh, and that was a rough play there. They're going to call it a jump ball with Salem with the possession arrow. I thought that was a little rough there. Should have, should have been called to reach in. Yeah, and Roy kind of favoring her left arm. Hopefully she's okay. Looks like she's going to be able to shake that Well, they off. made contact with her. I don't know why they didn't call that. Sydney Emerson dishes it out to the top. Three-point attempt for Salem, and it's good. Number 13, Jordan Franzen with that shot. Cuts the deficit 39-35. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Here comes Stevenson. Gets it over to Philly, and Philly and inside to Jonas. She's fouled. And with the bonus, will this uh, put him in the bonus now? It'll be a one and one with uh, Amanda Jonas going to the line. Second foul on Franzen. Both teams now have seven team fouls. Both in the bonus. Possession arrow, by the way, goes to Bedford. Jonas free throw is no good. But it's rebounded by Salem. Thought, Sa thought Bedford had it for a moment. Four seconds left. Three, two, one. Here's a shot by Emerson. Is wide. And we finish up with a four-point Bedford lead here at the end of three. 39-35. Well, that was Bedford's best quarter for sure. Thought they outplayed Salem throughout the quarter there. And on the scoreboard, it was 13-9 but easily could have been a bigger advantage, but Salem did make two three-pointers during the third quarter. Uh, Abu Jadi still back on the bench for Salem. She checked in on, an, on that offense possession, didn't get a shot. Uh, that's, that's putting a lot of pressure on Franzen, uh, but she's up to 12 points now, and Doucette has eight. They both made a three-pointer in the third quarter. Uh, on the other side, you know, Roy had that great series there with the bucket and the steal. You know, her energy is really con contagious. But Stevenson now up to 15 points. Uh, she's, she's leading the charge offensively. Roy, Roy and Fillion have eight. Driscoll has six. And Dyer have, has two. We got some scoring updates here for you. At the end of three, Central brings their two-point lead 36-34 over Memorial in uh, the other girls' quarterfinal. In hockey, Concord leads 3-1. to one. That's a team that I believe uh, Bedford will be playing if uh, Concord hangs on. And BG roars back. They have a 10-point lead now. With 2-10 left in the third, 27-17. Low-scoring affair in Merrimack. And here we go again. Ball up to the top of the key with Roy. 
She fakes, drives, has the ball stripped away, and they're going to call a foul in Salem. Boy, it looks like actually he went with the kicking motion uh, to call the kick, not a kicking foul, but a kick. Okay. So Bedford retains possession there. Dyer under the basket, gets it into Claire Driscoll, who fires a shot, and she's fouled. Or no, what do they call that, an offensive or a travel? Yeah, they called that a travel on the turnaround. She didn't get a dribble in. So Doucette brings it in for Salem. Stops, being watched by Dyer. Back to safe, back to, to uh, Doucette. Now to the top over to Franzen. Stevenson's on her. Still dribbling, goes down low, gets it underneath to Abujadi. Her shot, she missed the first one, but they're going to call a foul, sending Abujadi to the line. So not surprisingly, Coach Oliver laying it all on the line. Abujadi back in the game now with four fouls. He's just got to he, hope he can't she's... Yeah, he can't afford to fall behind anymore. That's right. By putting her on the bench. So Abujadi, first shot is good. Hits the rim and gets a favorable roll. 39-37, or 36, I should say. Three-point lead now for the Bulldogs. Abujadi up for the second shot. Mia Roy taking a seat with her fourth foul for Bedford. That's good as well. So 39-37, two-point game. Ball is up to Stevenson. Gets it over to Fillion. Back to Stevenson. She takes a sh set shot short. Rebound by... Franzen, who comes the other way for Salem, gets it down low. There's a three-point attempt from the corner. Hits a rim and out. Ball, ball is loose. Safe gets it. Now Abujadi gets it over to Greenfield. Her shot is good for two points. That ties the game. 39 all. And that brings the Salem faithful to life here in Bedford Gymnasium. Ball turned over there by Morgan. Doucette picks it up for Salem. 6.47 left in the game, tied up to 39. Doucette, slowing things down, trying to reset the Salem office. Ball down low to Abu Jadi and a foul on Stevenson. She runs into her, gonna send her to the line. That's her fourth foul? That's Florence that's Stevenson as well, that's right, Harry. So fouls come early and often today. That's gonna send, I think that's gonna send uh, Stevenson to the bench, although we've got a timeout now. Not sure who called that, Salem, or it might have been Salem calling that for a 30-second. I think Coach Thomas is going to you know, talk about this foul situation with the Bulldogs here. Remind them they've got two of their star players with four, and when the referees are calling it this close, you have to adjust. You, you can't reach. you got to play straight up. you got to stay vertical. Just make it tough on them, but you can't let fouls dictate the outcome of this game, and Bedford has 19 fouls now. So Salem's going to be shooting the rest of the night. So 6.36 remaining in the game. And Abu Jadi's on the line for Salem with the score tied 39 all. Who's out there for Bedford right now? We've got uh, Driscoll, Morgan, Dyer. Fillion and who else? St Stephen's still out there with four. Jonas is getting ready to check in. Here comes the foul shot by Abu Jadi. Try to give Salem the lead back. No good. Rebound by Dyer. And she hands it off to Morgan. Critical miss on the front end of the one on one there by Abu Jadi. Ball over to Claire Driscoll now. She's dribbling, gets it over to Stevenson. Stevenson holds up. Now driving, dishes it out to Fillion. Her three-point attempt off the rim, and there's a rebound by Abu Jadi. Coming back to Salem. Gets it over to Greenfield. Back to Abu Jadi. Top of the key. Over to Doucette. Doucette down low, trying to drive the baseline. Turns around. Get the, get the screen from Safe. A pick. Over to Franzen now. Franzen tries to dish it, hits a player in the leg, bounces back out to Greenfield. Now Franzen with it again, gets it inside, but that's intercepted by Claire Driscoll. Gets it up to Alexa Dyer, who takes a set shot, and that's no good. 
Rebound attempt off the hands of Stevenson. It'll be Salem ball. Close play there on that rebound. Could have gone either way. Stevenson now checking out with four, and Jonas replaces her. So they got the bigs in there for Salem today, or for, for Bedford, I should say. Emily Doucette now for Salem, bringing the ball over the timeline. Dishes it off to Franzen. Franzen takes a three. Rims out. Safe with the rebound for Salem. She puts up a rebound, a second attempt, and that's picked up by Claire Driscoll. She gets it up now to Fillion. Fillion now trying to drive. Stops, gets it back to Morgan. Morgan gives a head fake. Back over to Fillion. Fillion picks up a pick, but a blocking foul on Safe will send Fillion to the line. That's the fifth on uh, Safe. She's going. She's leaving the game, you believe? That's it for Carly Safe. That's her fifth. She's one of those glue players for Salem who tough on defense, a lot of rebounds. It's going to be hard to replace her. She was a big presence in that game. It's, we'll see how if, if how badly hurt uh, the Blue Devils are with not having her available. Score still tied, 39 all, 501 remaining in uh, Allison Fillion at the line to give Bedford a shot at the lead here. Her first shot is up and it's good. 40-39, Bedford up by one. Fillion five for five at the line. And her second attempt coming up now. Up, rims out, rebound by Salem. That was Franzen with the rebound. Now Abjadi with the ball for the Blue Devils. Setting the offense, gets it over to Doucette. Doucette to Franzen. Franzen to Emerson. Abujadi in the corner for three, no good. Rebound attempt off the hands of Dyer. Back underneath by Abujadi, her shot goes wild. And loose ball picked up by Bedford, and we have a foul, a double dribble call. Yes, they're going to call a double dribble on Morgan, and Salem will get the ball back. I don't know if that was actually a double dribble. She no. never really had possession of the ball. Yeah, another tough call there where she was battling underneath two opponents to try and gain possession. You're right, that was a, a tough call. Greenfield into Abujadi at the perimeter now. Trying to decide what to do. She decides to back out. Gives the ball to Greenfield as they reset the offense. Now Greenfield drives. And a foul there, a reach in by Fillion. Yep, and now that's 10 team fouls on Bedford, so it doesn't matter that the foul was on the floor. Salem's going to get two free throws. So Greenfield at the line before 24 left to play. Bedford up by one. Greenfield 2 of 4 at the line tonight. Perry, you noticed that she had a, a, hand, a hand issue at halftime. Right, the, uh, the trainer was uh, working on her right hand. That's her shooting hand. And they're putting a Band-Aid on her. And shooting a numbing agent on it, kind of a spray. Oh, Second shot is good. That ties the game. So right, there could be an issue with, uh, with her, shooting, uh, her shooting motion because of the hand injury. Morgan brings it over, gets it to Alexa Dyer, back to Morgan at the top of the key, inside to Claire Driscoll. She fights and gets a shot off, and it's good with an and one to follow. Great physical effort there by Claire Driscoll to get free for that shot and draw the foul. We could look back on that as the turning point, Harry. It was a great shot. Be able to get the roll there in the paint, draw the and one, and put Bedford ahead here with just over four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Mia Roy is in, as is Kendra Bernard. Jonas comes out, and uh, Allison Morgan is out. So the first shot by, or the shot by Driscoll, no good, bounces right to Salem. And Doucette has it now, resetting the Salem offense. Being guarded by Roy. Inside to Emerson. Back up high to Greenfield, dishes it to Abujadi for three. No good, rebound by Fillion. Fillion behind the back. Her pass is intercepted by Doucette. Coming the other way, two on one, she stops, pulls up, takes a shot, no good, and rebound there by Roy. Roy coming back the other way, three on two. Roy decides to pull up and uh, reset the offense. She's being watched by Greenfield. Fillion has it now, back to Roy, over to Dyer. Down low into uh, inside to Bernard. Bernard's layup partially blocked. Rebound up to Driscoll. Her shot, good. 
44-40, Bedford up by four with 3.17 to play. Greenfield for Salem to Abu Jadi at the top of the key. Over to Emerson, long three attempt, no good. Re oh, that was, that should have been the fifth foul on Abu Jadi right there. She yeah. got away with one. She did. Now here comes Miroy the other way into the corner, shot by Driscoll, good. No, that's Dyer. Dyer with a two pointer there, 46-40. 6-0 run for the Bulldogs, giving them a six-point lead with 2.56 to play. Well, there's a 6-0 burst, Harry. It couldn't have come at a better time. Driscoll making those two buckets in the paint and then coming right back with Dyer, where she loves to be in that left corner. She's shown all season long. That's one of her sweet spots. So Coach Oliver calls a timeout. They're in a tough spot now, down six. Bedford's going to have the confidence they need. There are nine team fouls on Salem, so Bedford will also be shooting two free throws the rest of the night, just like Salem. So yes. Coach Oliver is kind of playing with dynamite here with a couple of, couple of players with four fouls, Abu Jadi being one of them. He has already lost uh, safe to, uh, to the fouls. Yep, Bedford's fortunate though because Abu Jadi missed a three, Franzen has missed a three. Emerson has missed a couple threes in the second half. So they've got to keep working hard on the defensive end here and, and try and close out on three-point shooters. Don't forget songs from the end of the world will come on right after the basketball game here on Bedford 105-1. Salem inbounds. Greenfield brings it up over the timeline, tries to drive and winds up dribbling it off her leg. Turnover, Salem, Bedford ball. That was an unfortunate move there by Greenfield. Yeah, Philly just solid defensive pressure and Bedford takes advantage of the unforced error with possession of their own. Now Mia Roy brings it in. Gets it up to Dyer, Dyer dribbles, pulls up, gets it to Fillion. Fillion back over to Roy, she tries a three. Too far, rebound, Abu Jadi. 2.32 left in the game. Bedford up by six points, 46-40. Abu Jadi with the dribble. Still with the ball. Dishes it off to Franzen. Franzen tries a three, and it's good. 46-43. Bedford up by three. 2.12 remaining in the game. Roy being watched by Greenfield. Gets over the timeline. Now dishes it off to Fillion. She tries a three. No good, but a rebound. Attempt by Bernard, but there's going to be a foul called on trying to get that number. Who's that? Number 13, that's uh, Franzen. They actually, they gave it to number 12. Tough to see that. It went to Emerson, yeah, her okay. third. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was 13. Barner just had great position there, and Emerson didn't have much of a choice there but to foul. So Barnard on the line with a chance to uh, bring the lead back up. 46-43 right now. First free throw, no good. That was Barnard's first free throw attempt of the night. Here comes her second one. It's up. And that one's no good either. Rebound by Abujati for sale and gets it up to Emerson. Brings it over. Dishes it off to Doucette, to Abujati. Back to Emerson, Abu Jadi again on the perimeter. Greenfield comes out, being watched by Barnard. Franzen still with the ball. Clock is ticking away. They've got to make a play here. 137. Back up to Franzen over to Abu Jadi. No room to take a shot. Tries to drive, puts up a runner, and it's good. 46-45, Bedford up by one with 121 to play. Now Mia Roy brings it in for Bedford. Do they slow it down here? They try to take uh, some time off the clock? Yeah, they just got to work for a good shot. Dyer to Driscoll. Back up to Roy. Salem playing the tight pressure. Salem putting a pressure on Philly in there. That's number 11, Doucette. Fillion gets it over to Driscoll. Driscoll watched by Abu Jadi. 
Now finally gets it back out to Roy. 46 remaining in the game, 46 seconds, 45. Bedford happy to just run the clock out here, force them to take a foul, and they finally do. That's Emily Doucette running into Mia Roy, putting her on the line with 38.8 seconds left. Yeah, that's three on Doucette, and that's one of the, the problems for Salem is that not everybody can foul. You know, Abajadi has four, so she can't foul. But Doucette commits her third foul there to send Mia Roy to the line, who's four for four there tonight. And we need uh, these two foul shots for sure. Shot is up, no good. So at best, they can make this a one possession game. Stevenson checking in for Barner there, and Morgan replaces Dyer. So here comes Roy's second shot. 46-45, Bedford up by one point. Second one is good, 47-45 with 38 seconds to play. Greenfield for Salem, brings it over the timeline. 33 seconds left, Abu Jadi with the ball. Wide open shot by Franzen from three, no good. But the rebound goes off of Abu Jadi. They're gonna give the ball to Bedford. Abu Jadi protesting to no avail. And the Salem crowd showing their displeasure with that call. Frankly, I didn't get a good look at that. There was just a scrum there. I didn't know who the ball went off. I thought Bedford was lucky there. I thought it was off Bedford. So the ball's inbounded. Here comes Morgan. They're gonna try to foul her. But instead, oh, what a lucky break for Bedford. She was fouled just as she let that pass go, and that pass was heading out of bounds. That would have been a turnover for Bedford. You're exactly right, Harry. So instead of turning the ball over with 22 seconds left to play, they're going to send Morgan to the line for two shots with a two-point lead, 47-45. Make two, and it's a two-possession game. Morgan's first free throw attempt of the night. And it's good. 48-45. Can't get any more clutch than that. This one puts it at a two possession game. Up, no good, rebound Salem. Oh, but it's blocked by Morgan. Salem recovers, 18 seconds left to play. Greenfield bringing it over the line. Back to Greenfield, up too far. Oh, that goes right off the hands of Stella Hazelton. Out of bounds, I haven't mentioned her name all night. I guess she, she's finally in the game. And she wasn't prepared for that return pass from uh, Greenfield and it's a turnover for Salem. 12 seconds remaining, a three-point game, a three-point lead for the Bulldogs. Trying to get the ball in bounds, they do. Mia Roy gets the ball and instead uh, Greenfield fouls her, kind of gives her the two-hand touch and sends Roy to the line with nine seconds remaining. Kept Salem behind the eight ball now with time and score. They've got to hope that Mia Roy misses. So one basket here makes it a two-point game, a two-possession game. And Roy misses that one, but she has another chance. Kendra Barnard back in for Allison Morgan. And Roy with another chance to put this up to a four-point lead with 9.8 seconds remaining. She sets, puts it up, and it's good. Four-point lead for the Bulldogs. Salem's got to hurry. Branson brings it over the timeline. They got to get a shot off here. Gets it to Greenfield. Greenfield still no shot. Finally a block shot there by, I believe that was uh, Fillion. And there's your final. Bedford wins a close, tough fought game, 49-45.